Jesus called his followers to be salt and light to the world. The world is full of darkness. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light. Lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen. That they have been done in God. The world does not receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus told his disciples, If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, who the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Jesus called his followers out of the world to be in it, but not of it. Because to be of the world will lead to fruitlessness and perishing. Instead, they are called to be salt and light to the world, just like the Lord. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Your new life and the proclamation of the gospel is the example for others to see and follow. It is to be light and salt, pure and uncorrupted. Salt is a purifying agent in the Old Testament. Contaminated salt does not purify, becoming tasteless. Losing its taste indicates foolish and immoral behavior, often seen with a compromised gospel. It refers to a professing Christian whose unrighteous lifestyle promotes destruction rather than purification. It's useless and trampled underfoot by men. This world is dark, full of lost people. God wants everyone to repent and come to the light. His people are told to reach out to these lost people, seek the lost, but they must remain salt and light. They cannot compromise their life with sin. They cannot compromise with other gospels. For we are called to be salt and light. God bless.